It's too hot today to be in that studio, so we're doing kitchen, kitchen vlogging. Vlogging from the kitchen. Old guy with a smartphone again. Mm. Happy Memorial Day. I don't know when I'll post this. I might post it later, but thank you to all our veterans and everything. That kind of segues actually into this. Um, some of you know, some of you don't, some of you care, some of you won't. See there how I do that? Just flip it. Just flipping all the time. Um, I got employed at Trident Refit Facility back in 2008. That is a shipyard submarine repair facility. So uh, when you come in there as a young, spry, you know, 20 year old or teenager ready to conquer the world and you, you out fresh out of high school or whatever you're doing and uh, you think you've grown, you, you get in there and you, you get kind of a rude awakening. I, mean, I really feel like that type of environment Excuse me, it's like factory work or the military or something like that. I think more kids need to have to go through that stuff, man, or more young adults because, like, there ain't no safe space or no, you know, there ain't nobody cares who your dad is, who your family is, where you came from, what kind of community, you know, uh, status you got. It's like you pay to do a job, do the shit, do the shit right. Some people's there, they're going to try to teach you how to do the, how to do the job. If you learn it or not, they don't give a shit. They're getting paid. So either you learn it on your own, you, you train yourself, you figure it out, or find another place to work, man. We don't care. They don't care. So, and, and that's actually, I'm not saying it like it's a negative thing. It's actually a good thing. It, it instills responsibility, independence, man. You don't, you don't got nobody padding your self-esteem and kissing your ass or nothing like that. You got to get it. That's it. You in the, you in there now. You, and there's plenty of jobs like that, I'm sure, not just shipyards. But shipyards are, I feel like, they got a little extra sting to them. And, uh, you know, it's like you, you got these old uh, salty dog sailors that have retired, man, and they don't, they don't care, bro. You come in there day one and you're like, you know, you come in there like, Hi. Hi, how's everyone uh, doing today? This is my new shop. Uh, my name's Dustin Bennett. Uh, starting to work here today. Yeah, so uh, I guess um, the training instructor told me to, you know, see you guys about the locker room. Yeah, you... Your mom was up in the locker room earlier today, freaking double fisting him. You know what I'm talking about? His mom was in there. That's why the smiles are all over our faces. Okay. Uh, I'll just find it myself. <laughs> That's pretty much how the whole situation works, man. Uh, but so... I wanted to tell you, I wanted to share a quick story with y'all about this. I'm a storyteller, man, so I get involved in this stuff. Um, that's basically what these videos are going to be, me talking to y'all about some stuff I've been through or some crazy thoughts I have. So uh, check this out. So I get in there in uh, my first little week of work there, and uh, I get in the gang I'm in. And it's a mixture of people, man. It's older dudes, younger dudes, females, whatever. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a mixture of people out there employed and uh i started looking around the gang and stuff you know quite a good amount of these older mechanics are uh either walking with a completely contorted back or missing digits um one of them who's a good buddy of mine was missing like two right there well my bad those two i can't even do it these two are like Fucking looks like he's throwing up the Dr. Spock all the time. And, uh, but it was another guy over there, man. I want to keep these people nameless too, because I still work with some of them and some of them still out there. He's missing a index like this. So this whole area right here was just a patch of, of skin that's, uh, not hand skin, clearly. It all, it all it looks like, it's like a different nationality skin. It's like whiter than the rest of his skin. And uh, 
and the hair on it grows all bristly looking and crazy. And um, so, you know, I'm a new guy out there and I'm just noticing this shit and I'm like, hmm, yeah, okay, all right. I ain't never seen that before. You know, that's a little crazy, but you know, I'm not gonna just start asking these old bastards that look like they could snap me in half. You know, what happened to your fingers? What's, what's going on? So eventually I get comfortable and I start talking to some people around there and I'm like, you know what, what what's up with buddies? Uh, You know, what did they, what kind of patchwork quilt shit they got going on there? And this dude tells me, he's like, he lost his finger out there on the job, which that sucks. I do, you know, I do feel bad for the guy. I know him, he's a buddy of mine, so I don't feel bad talking about it. But uh, they ended up skin graphing some skin off of his own body onto that hand. Some ass skin. Right off the old posterior back there right on your hand now. So I guess you kind of can't be choosers, you know, about it, where it comes from. It's probably the least painful spot, really. But you know, that just brings up questions, you know, like everybody thinks the normal stuff, like, you know, the funny shit, like, so when he's sneezing and he covers his mouth with his hand, does it sound like a fart? A poof, does it sound like a fart out of there? Or, uh, you know, when he's, trying to scratch his nose and smell like an ass. But, uh, you know, I took it a step further. I was like, I was telling him like, I, I wonder when this man goes to wipe, if the other skin that's still left down there, if they don't feel some type of way, you know about it. And this, and this skin, this skin on his hand now has like a, superiority complex to them you know like they coming down there and the ass skins like oh will you look at who's here mr upgrade it's mr hand skin now boys you changed bro you changed you forgot where you came from down here with us bro you was a no sunshine seer too you was down here with us in the darkness in in the must you was down here with us in the dingleberries and stuff, bro. You changed. And then that hand skin, you know, and now it's like a, <laughs> that hand skin is like, Shh. don't listen to them, Terrence. We're writers now. We know how to read and write. You know, maybe they, maybe they come down there and they're so arrogant. They're like, oh, if it isn't the undercarriage, boys, still down here sweating it up. You know, they're down there like, <laughs> they're down there coming in like, uh, ah, I see a couple bumps down here. Somebody hadn't been getting a washcloth lately, you know, some shit like that. <laughs> I know it's crazy, man, but, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know. I never did really mention it to that guy cause, uh, he's about 350 something pounds and a lot of his muscle and he'd probably take his ass skin right there on my on my neck. Cause that joker used to grab you, bro, like a crab claw and grab you on your shoulder. He come up behind you with that, with that little pincher and mm, boy, it'd drop you to your knees with that shit. But, uh, all right, man, this has been another installment of talking about weird shit to my people. Um, on the next video, I know this is kind of a long one. If y'all stuck it out, thank you. God bless you. Um, on my next one, I think I'm gonna preview some new music for y'all. And don't trust me, I ain't just doing this full time from now on. There's some music on the way. And there's some more uh some more uh rap verse challenges and stuff like that. I'm, I got in the works too. And y'all get ready for June 10th. Come down to Leadfoot City in uh Brooksville, Georgia. It's a big, nice uh I don't I wouldn't even call it a mud park. It's like a drag park. They got a lot of uh, buildings there, shops, merch, things like that. They put on big, nice concerts. We went there and shot the donut video for Racket County. If you want to check out and kind of see what it looks like, look up Racket County's video on YouTube and look at the, uh, the song Donut. And uh, that's where we shot it. There are a lot of good people there. Y'all come out. Love y'all. Have a good summer. Happy Memorial Day. Peace.